Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be testing a compressor using a megameter which is also known as a insulation tester. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful please drop a like, comment and subscribe and let's get straight into it. The prefix meg describes a numerical value of 1 million. This means 1 megohm is equal to 1 million ohms. A megger or megometer will give you a reading in megohms. Currently, the megometer that I am using is a Subco M500, which is an expensive alternative to swing needle megometers. Complete with LED indicators, this meter will accurately measure insulation values up to 1000 megohms at 500 volts and also indicate the condition of insulation on the zone scale. Here is our zone scale and it will give you our reading on the left and indicate on the right if we are bad, if there is a caution and if we are good. Today we will be conducting an insulation test on a single phase compressor and by doing so we will be evaluating the condition of this motor internally. Just to keep in mind the same test can be done for either a single phase compressor or a three phase compressor. The principles here remain the same. It is very important that you follow the instructions for the megameter that you are using specifically. To perform this test, it's important to have a good ground. So as you can see, I sanded down a bit of the casing so we can have no paint, so we don't have any interference when testing this motor. To perform this test, we're gonna turn off the power to our system and we're going to disconnect the wires coming to our compressor. We're going to want to isolate so we can check the compressor itself. To conduct this test is very simple. We're going to go from one terminal to ground and we're going to do this for each terminal coming from the compressor. So let's start with this one here and here's our ground. So we're going to depress our button and we're going to watch our scale. As you can see we started at around 200 to 300 and then we went past 1000 and over here it says above 1000, there is no light. This is indicating that we are good. Next, we're going to check the next terminal and do the same thing. Same deal. We went past the scale above 1000, and above 1000, there is no light. We're going to do the same thing for the next terminal, for the last one. And once again, we went past the scale of 1000 megohms. This is indicating that we are good. If we happen to get a reading that is in this area from 30 to 100, there would be a serious caution. It would be a good indication that you should really change that motor because you are about to be in this section, which is the bad section, which is 30 and below. So rule of thumb, we're looking for 100 and up as far as megohms and below that uh, you have either running a caution or you're actually bad and such as things as your compressor might be grounded. In a perfect world you want this to read past 1000 megohms. If you get something close to 100 such as 100 or 150 it is definitely questionable and it's important to take note with your manufacturer as far as the type of compressor you're using as far as what is acceptable. This is how you properly check a compressor with a megameter. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.